Philippines. Today I wanted to make a little tutorial on um, transitions. Mainly, it, I would say it's probably the most useful for beginners, if you're a complete beginner, or as well if you are practice, been practicing yoga for some time but maybe didn't particularly pay attention or been taught how to do vinyasa transitions correctly. So you might find this really useful because vinyasas or down dog, plank, chaturanga, up dog or cobra and back into down dog, this transition you will be doing a lot in a practice. Either it's a vinyasa, either it's ashtanga practice, probably in a hatha yoga as well. So particularly down dog and um, up dog, it's something that you will find a lot of repetitions throughout your practice. And it's important to do it correctly. Although some movements feel like it's a basic, they all quite a complex movement and it's a tiny details that make all the difference in your practice. So let's go ahead and try with down dog. So the important bit in a down dog is to keep your shoulders fully extended. So here I will demonstrate this is shoulders drop back. So shoulders dropped down. This is full extension of your arms and shoulders. So the most common thing that I see in a classes a lot is people drop their shoulders back. What it causes, it causes restriction and limitation in your chest, in your shoulders region, so you can't press through and go deeper. As well, over repetitive movement, it causes something called shoulder impingement. When you pinch in the muscle in your shoulder, and it can be really painful and uncomfortable if you do it over and over again for a prolonged period of time. So it's important to do this movement correctly because as I said, these movements are repetitive. So I like to start with positioning ourselves into tabletop. So you can bring palms under your shoulders, spread your fingers really wide, take a one deep inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades in, look up. On an exhale, round your shoulders, push the ground away from you and now bring your hips high. So from here, you want to spread your fingers really wide, press equally part, like press equally hard through both palms into the ground. Make sure your middle finger is straight and facing your mat. Now watch how I quite often another thing is elbows are externally rotated. You want to wrap your triceps and bring your elbows in. So you want to do this movement not here, squeezing your shoulder blades in, but rotating your elbows in spreading your shoulder blades wide and a full extension of your arms. So not this, this is your shoulders dropped back and you have a full limitation here, you can't push through. Here your shoulders extended, you're creating that space for your chest to move through if you wish to do so. So here again, your crown is aiming for the ground, your heels are aiming for the ground, your hips are pointing high, so you're pushing into your hips, sticking your hips out, sticking your sit bones high and thinking of chest towards your feet. So that's your down dog. If your hamstrings are really tight, you will have your heels lifted up. You can even bend your knees slightly or bend it as much as you need to. You can stay here. Although this pose might feel really uncomfortable to begin with, with the time, it will become your restorative pose. So this is your down dog. So it will take a little bit of time to tweak in again. When in down dog, sometimes I find that people too far apart or they too much this way, which is pretty much a forward fall. So you need to learn to feel your body and adjust yourself accordingly. If you need to walk your palms closer, do so. If you need to walk them a bit further away, equally do that. Next transition is when we're moving from our down dog into plank. Okay, common thing here, common mistake is to squeeze shoulders in and drop through your belly, drop your, through your lower back. No, no, no. Too much pressure in your lower back, uncomfortable in your shoulders. So that what you need to be doing here is to push in your mat, your ground away from you. So having those rounded shoulders, spreading your shoulder blades wide, Again, and as well, at the same time, no sagging here. So breathing, drawing your navel towards your spine, really engaging your core here, sucking your tummy in. 
So this is our plank. Here from plank, you want to shift forward from the back of your heel. So, uh, sorry, from the back of your ball of your feet forward, bringing your shoulder blades over your wrists. And then again, from here, come between externally rotated elbows. You need to rotate your elbows inward. And then from here, leading with your chest, elbows nice and tight to your body, lowering down into your chaturanga. From here on an inhale, transitioning into up dog. So again, in your up dog, you want to roll your shoulders down, squeeze your shoulder blades in, push your chest forward, look up. And on an exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, I shall say here that actually, if you're a complete beginner, this transition will be rather challenging. You need to have quite a lot of upper body strength and core strength to do it. So I would modify it. And in the classes, I always teach modification. So from down dog, you're moving into plank, elbows in, pushing forward from here, bringing your knees, chest, chin to the floor. Now here is very important positioning of your palms. If your palms are here, when you ride up into Cobra, look what's happening. You're completely crunching your neck. Your shoulders are high. So you need to make sure your palms are in line with your chest or even a little bit further. Almost creating 90 degrees angle with your elbows and tucking in. And then from here, rising into Cobra. Keeping your hips, your pubic bone on the floor. Rolling your shoulders down, squeezing your shoulder blades in, looking up, pushing your chest forward. Really engaging that lower back and then from here through tabletop, transitioning into downward facing dog. And then you have a nice deep breath in your down dog. So these transitions in itself are really powerful. So usually in a practice, sun salutations or vinyasas used to switch sides in a practice or simply using between transitions between changing the movement between changing the sequencing or some salutations at the beginning of the practice it's a powerful warm-up so because you do it so much transitioning through down dog up dog or cobra it's really important to learn to do it correctly so spend some time to really work on the i would say split the transitions and work first on the down dog then that movement from down dog into plank, making sure we're not doing this by pushing the back away, sucking your tummy in, drawing your navel towards your spine, nice and round shoulders, and then sending your sit bones high and moving back into down dog. And again, coming down into plank, and then again back into down dog. And then if you using chaturanga, if your method of transitioning, that making sure that when you're coming down, you rotate your elbows inward, push yourself forward, and then leading with your chest lower down, and then feet down on the floor, push chest forward, lift, look up, and then sending your sit bones high, moving back into downward facing dog. So again, spend some time breaking down the sequence and working on each pose individually. And then linking it together and slowly learning, modifying it at any point you need to. Like I said, if when you're pressing down through Shadaranga, the important thing to remember here, if you're doing this and this is what's happening, you're not ready to do the Shadaranga transition yet. Then from here, you're bringing your knees, chest, chin to the floor and then rolling up into cobra, okay? Otherwise, you're cramming too much of your body weight into your lower back, which in the long time will cause injuries in your lower back. So I hope you found it useful. So keep practicing, share with me how you're getting on, or if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. Namaste. Thank you for watching.